today is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I'm really not a big birthday person. I usually don't like gifts or your parties or anything like that. I like to keep it really mellow. I like to just avoid the whole birthday thing. But one thing I love doing, or I always try to do my best is like, think about the things that I've learned and then try to set some goals for the future. What did I learn this year? I think the biggest thing that I probably learned was that I can do anything I want. I began the year working for another organization and I really found out that I was not happy there and I thought that I would have to stay in that job, continue to work there because money makes the world go around. It allows me to travel, it allows me to live abroad, it allows me to do all this stuff, eat, right? So I was really like so set on that and like scared to leave that job. But then I found out that it, it doesn't really matter. There's other ways to make money. There's things like this that I enjoy much more. There's making websites, there's doing consultancy work. There's a million other ways to make money. So you can really just, if you're not happy, leave whatever you're doing because there's, you can really do whatever you want. And there's so many opportunities nowadays that you can really take advantage of them. But that leads into the second thing. And the second thing is you have to work hard. I realize that if I do want to live this type of life and I do want to do the things that I enjoy and I love, it's gonna take a lot of hard work. And definitely throughout the year, I felt burnt out and I felt like giving up and this is a struggle, this is so hard. But the more that I've continued to work at it, the harder that I've worked at it and stuff like that, I've, I've, I've seen these slow and slow improvements and gradual improvements that have allowed me to get to this this step and it's not it wouldn't be possible unless i did work as hard as i did i think the biggest like one of the obvious ones is doing this vlog so i've done this now i think today's 73 so 73 days in a row i've been able to make this vlog and if i would have maybe done this one per day like it would take me 73 weeks to get to the point that i am now and so just putting that work in in a very consolidated time the graph is like this right my experience my capabilities everything is just shot up like this instead of more of a gradual not that you need to shoot up like this right with what you enjoy doing it depends on your capacity to do it and how much and how fast you want to get better at something so those are those two things are like really really related together and then something completely different i would say that i've learned this year is just about putting your energy into people and things that you enjoy. I've, I've learned that, you know, not everyone we meet are going to be friends. Not everyone that enters into our life are going to be there forever or, or, or are meant to stay. And, you know, it's just a, a chapter in our life or something like that, a, a casual interaction or whatever it might be that those people play an important role in your life, but it's not supposed to be there long term. And I think sometimes I get caught up with meeting new people while traveling and wanting to have friends where I'm living while I'm living in new countries, new places, because you like that companionship and everything. And so I, I know I get caught up with that occasionally and it's, it's maybe not the best use of my energy where I could be putting it into Puja, I could be putting it into my family, I could be putting it into my friends back home that I haven't seen in a long time. So speaking of that, I got to talk to my parents this morning, which I usually do it like once a month. I'm really bad at communication, but got to talk to my parents, got to see my brother. So that was that was really, really nice. And it was something I was looking forward to last night. I was telling Pooja, like, I have to wake up early because I have to call them. So it was it was good to talk to them and, and see them and everything, even though it's been so, so many years. I, I was just counting, actually, and it's been, I think this is my eighth year, eighth birthday that I've been abroad. Sorry, I got distracted by these monkeys over here. I'm a little scared that they might come get me. Let's see if you can see them. See those a couple monkeys up there? Little baby monkey. This dude, alpha male. That big old guy there. So I was a little worried about if he's gonna come and visit me or what's going on. So final thing tying into putting your energy in the wrong place, I think is it's okay to feel the feelings that you're feeling. I know for myself and possibly for other people as well that you know we've been taught that it's not okay to feel sad or bad or grumpy or angry and stuff like that and we try to com like compress it, right? We try to hide it. And I've learned that it's okay if I'm not feeling okay. It, that's perfectly fine and that I should be aware of my emotions that way I can make changes. I know, like I said, I was feeling burnt out. I feel sad at times because I'm not making the 
advancements or like the progress that I really wish that I could. Once that I acknowledge that it's okay to feel that way, I could sit down and come up with solutions and make myself take a break and relax and step back and then see, okay, this is my new strategy. These should be my goals. This is how I'm going to accomplish stuff. And it really clears your mind instead of always stressing about just whatever you're feeling and why, why am I feeling this way? It's horrible, it's horrible, it's horrible. So those are the big things that I've, I've really learned this year. So I just wanted today to be a quick birthday video because I, I really didn't want to spend too much time. Like I said, I am burnt out. And also it is my birthday, so I want to relax and not do too much. So I really wanted today to be quick just to say what I've learned and then to tell myself that, you know, I can continue to do this. And if I enjoy doing this and I am happy in doing this, I should continue to do this and eventually all of the things and endeavors that I'm doing, I will be successful. So one year from now, I will come back to this video and I will see and hopefully future Hayden, you're doing good, you're happy and you're content with where you are with your adventure, your journey through content creation and being an entrepreneur and building your own business and stuff like that. So happy birthday to you in the future. Of course, thanks everyone that watches these. I appreciate it and hi mom, hi dad, hi brother, love you guys. All of my friends back in the states, miss and love you guys too. Hopefully soon we can get back together and we can celebrate one of your birthdays because your birthdays are way more exciting than mine so I would love to celebrate one of your guys' birthdays in the future. So, As always, thanks, bye.